Hello everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you a tour of my little humble home gym. Of course, my setup is based on my own physical ability, so if you are someone who squats and deadlifts super heavy, my setup is definitely not for you. But if you only have a limited space or really limited budget, I think my setup can give you some kind of inspiration, at least. Before I get into the detail, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's jump right in. First, a quick glance of my small home gym. I will be talking about how I put all these together and what I think are the most important pieces of equipment for my home gym. Let's start with the essential piece of equipment, the dumbbell. If you can only have one piece of equipment to save time, space, and money, then that equipment will be a rapidly adjustable dumbbell. This type of dumbbell is more space-saving than the conventional dumbbells, and is more convenient and time-saving than the swap weight adjustable dumbbells. You can find all types of rapidly adjustable dumbbells online with a huge range of weight, mechanics, and price. The pair I have can go up to 45 pounds each with 16 weight levels. And I can switch the weight with a simple twist at the handle. Some other adjustable dumbbells can go up to 90 pounds but are more expensive. The problem with this pair of dumbbells is that the weight increments get way too big after 22.5 pounds. For example, it goes into 27.5 pounds right after 22.5 and then 32 pounds. The weight jump are just too big for me to do proper progressive overload in certain exercises. Therefore, when I need those in-between weights, I will use my other dumbbell handles and weight plates to make up for it. I also use the dumbbell handles and weight plates when doing goblet squats, which I need my dumbbell to be over 45 pounds. The moral of this story is that if you can only have a pair of rapidly adjustable dumbbells, do take weights and weight increments into account when shopping for your adjustable dumbbells. However, if you don't mind spending more time and energy on swapping weights, the dumbbell handles and weight plates set is a good option to consider as well. If you want to get the weight plate swapping adjustable dumbbells, I highly recommend this type. I also have this set. Most of my weight plates were from this adjustable dumbbell set. Because I already have a pair of dumbbell handles, I only use this set as a short barbell. With a connector between two handles, I now have a short barbell to do more exercises, such as barbell hip thrust and barbell deadlifts. Suppose you want to add one more thing once you have a pair of adjustable dumbbells. That would be an exercise bench. With an exercise bench, you can suddenly add a lot more different exercises into your routine. There are tons of different types of exercises bench with a huge price range on the market. It can get very fancy with leg extension or back extension attachments. I have a basic incline bench with a pair of dumbbells. I can do bench press, incline bench press, skull crusher, dumbbell pullover, weighted decline crunches, etc. When folding in half, I can put it against the wall to save space. It's pretty cheap on Amazon, and it does the job. I have no complaints. In my opinion, the third important home gym equipment is a pull-up bar. It doesn't take up any of my floor space. And I can do one of the best upper body workout at home. Pull-ups! I got my pull-up bar from Amazon last year. I was skeptical at first, but this pull-up bar holds my weight very well. There are lots of exercises attachments you can build around the bar. With some resistance bands, you can do lots of activation exercises around it. I also got a TRX to do suspension training to improve my stability. I even built a cable machine based on this pull-up bar. So, with the pull-up bar alone, it opens up an abundance of new workout opportunities. If you are a minimalist, 
with a pair of dumbbells, an exercise bench, and a pull-up bar. Now you can perform most of the essential resistance training exercises at home. However, as much as I would like to be a minimalist, I just can't help wanting a squat rack for my home gym. I got my squat rack from a second-hand market app at $100. It's a bit bigger than my preference, but consider how durable it is and uh, how affordable it is. I'm happy with what I got. Having a squat rack means I also have a barbell. I got myself a 1-inch barbell because I already had lots of 1-inch weight plates from my weight plate swapping dumbbells at the time. Therefore, getting the 1-inch barbell was a no-brainer for me. Consider how much weight I need to train with for now and for the near future. My current setup is enough. I do back squat, barbell bench press, and overhead barbell press with this setup. However, if you train with very heavy weights, this setup is definitely not for you. By the way, if I have a little more space available, I will get myself a folding power cage, which is including with a pull-up bar. These are the more important pieces of equipment for my home gym. I also have several other pieces of equipment, but they are not as essential. These not as essential equipment are a dip station, a jump box, an adjustable kettlebell, and a underdesk bike. The jump box is my favorite non-essential equipment. I not only use it for box jump, I also use it as a stretching platform. Since it's a lightweight box that can easily adjust to three different heights, I sometimes use it as a chair, table, or stepper. My least favorite purchase is the adjustable kettlebell. It only goes up to 40 pounds. Its size is too big for its weight. I'm only 5'2", so when I do kettlebell snatches with it, it won't rest at my wrist. It just hit right in the center of my forearm. At the same time, 40 pounds is too light for the kettlebell swing exercise. I still use it in circuit training sometimes, but that's it. As for a dip station and under desk bike, these two pieces of equipment do exactly what I need them to do, so I have no complaints. Now I have listed through all the bigger pieces. Let's go through some smaller gym stuff I accumulate over time. There are tons of resistance bands, a pair of yoga blocks, a pair of gliders, a jump rope, a small foam roller, a longer foam roller, and a DIY landmine base unit. Although these kinds of stuff are not for promoting major strength and muscle growth, they provide extra benefits for warm-ups and muscle recoveries. Furthermore, they don't take up space and are very useful. It's just something good to have at home. The last but not least, I just got two pairs of 6-inch fitness foam and a pair of 12-inch steppers. As my deadlift weights got heavier, I sometimes dropped the weights and my neighbors just did not like that. I did consider getting a legit weightlifting platform, but I just don't have enough space. So instead of getting a weightlifting platform, I got two steppers to replace it. So far, it does the job. I also used the stepper as what it was made for, performing weighted step-ups. As for the fitness foams, other than acting as cushions, I also use them for practicing box jump with a 90 degree rotation. It looks like there's lots of stuff, but surprisingly, it doesn't take up that much space. And I'm quite satisfied with them. There are tons of cardio equipment people can add to their home gym, but in my opinion, none of them are that essential if your goal is to build muscle and to get better cardiovascular fitness. People can do cardio without any equipment and get a great result. Running in place, high knee, jumping jacks, burpees, etc. are all very effective for cardio training without any equipment. However, getting a low-impact cardio machine such as stationary bike or ellipticals can be beneficial if you have joint problems. The underdesk bike is a pretty good affordable and space-saving option. Now I have gone through every piece of equipment I have, I am going to show you the graph which I categorize them in terms of how essential they are for me. Of course, this is just my opinion, and my opinion is only based on my own physical abilities and my experiences. I'm going to go back to Taiwan for three months. I know I'm going to miss my home gym. I plan to sign up for a short-term gym membership back home, but 
Ah, uh, I just know I'm going to miss my home gym so much. I put so much heart into it. I just wish I can bring this whole thing back home and then bring it back when my trip is over. But anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you like it. And let me know what's your favorite equipment in the comment. Remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so you won't miss my future video. I'll see you next time. Bye!